Okay, we're going to talk about how we prepare for our slick sheared cattle on a daily basis. Uh, the products that we like to use, uh, I like to use is a medicated shampoo, and the reason I like that is because it kind of helps with the lice and the mange control, kind of the critter problems we deal with in the wintertime down here. Uh, I like the medicated shampoo, the conditioner cream, or the pro conditioner. And uh, I also like the Pro Charge. I'm going to talk about all three of those products as in a daily hair care routine on these slick shearing cattle. Uh, I do like to blow mine off uh, before we do this. Just go ahead and get the, the dirt and what little extra de debris they have on them on their skin and coat to get it knocked off. Uh, after I've got that done, we've already done that on this particular calf. It's pretty basic. We're going to take uh, our medicated shampoo. I like to apply it with a foamer. And we're just going to put a light coat okay so we'll put a light coat on with our foamer of medicated shampoo and the spots i like to hit that are very important to me are between their legs and underneath their belly and their armpits where the lice and mange might hang out more particularly but uh, we want to get them coated really good with our medicated shampoo with a foamer from head to tail and then we're going to take our uh, massage brush and just work that through their skin nice and light, get any spots of manure off that, they, that we have, work that in. And I still like to work it down as we would if we were working on a haired steer. It kind of helps train that hair also as when we shear it off the second time, it's still going clip, to uh, clip off in a smoother pattern. Basically the same routine that we would on a haired steer but with a slick one we just don't have the hair to mess with and we're, we're working the skin more than working the hair. We feel like it's very important on these slick sheared cattle their skin and hide looks very good. It's almost like they glow like a neon sign on the show. We can see a big difference between the ones where their skin and hide has been cared for a lot and it had a lot put into it versus just sheared off and taken to the show ring. It's a, it's a major, major difference in the ones that are successful and the ones that aren't we feel like. Where they look shiny and healthy and it makes a big difference and goes a long way. So after we've scrubbed this soap in, we're going to come back and rinse it out. Like any soap, we want to make sure we get it rinsed out from between their legs, underneath their, their bellies, their armpits, and get it out where it doesn't irritate them, because like, any soap will do that. Just make sure we get them good and rinsed out and clean. Um, after that, I'll take my rubber scrub brush and I'll still kind of go ahead and brush it down to stimulate that skin just to kind of get the excess water out. And also, that little bitty fine hair, it does push it down and it gets it where it's trained back down to where as we do go back and shear off, like I said before, it still comes off smooth. We're still training this, this hair, but little we have because it does make it clip off better in our end product for a slick sheared show. I like to wash my slick steers uh, one to three times a week using our medicated soap. Our medicated soap's not real harsh, I don't believe. And if we're fighting more bugs and more critters, we might do it three times a week. But it, it, it kind of depends on your animal, know what you had to work with, but at least once a week, like we would a haired steer. Uh, I'll typically do mine on Monday, Wednesdays, Fridays, or some kind of routine like that, and condition them every day. So it just depends on really what your weather's been like, if they've been in the mud, if they're dirty, uh, just the, the particular calf itself, but at least once a week with medicated soap, if not two or three times a week. We're going to rinse this out. Like any soap, we want to make sure we get it rinsed out from between their legs, underneath their, their bellies, their armpits, and get it out where it doesn't irritate them, because like, any soap will do that. Just make sure we get them good and rinsed out and clean. Um, after that, I'll take my rubber scrub brush, and I'll still kind of go ahead and brush it down to stimulate that skin, just to kind of get the excess water out. And also, that little bitty fine hair, it does push it down, and it gets it where it's trained back down to where as we do go back and shear off, like I said before, it still comes off smooth. We're still training this, this hair, what little we have, because it does make it clip off better in our end product for a slick sheared show.